Hi there, Tanya Van here from Tanya's Bling. Look at my shirt. <laughs> my hubby surprised me with it. And this is my logo. And it says Tanya's Bling. And then underneath it says beauty is whole, mind, body, and soul. Isn't that awesome? I love it. So, yay! <laughs> um, I am a Paparazzi Accessories Independent Consultant and Executive Director, and um, my brand is called Tanya's Blink, and I am, sorry, sorry, uh, let me just get situated here. Okay, <laughs> I'm um, just going to come on here really quickly. I always say that, don't I? And then 20 minutes later... <laughs> um, no, I am coming on because I'm going to start doing a new little thing that is uh, going to be called um, what's in the files, I guess <laughs> we'll call it. So these are things that are in my team page files. And a lot of times I get um, these from my uplines team pages or sometimes I'll make them myself. Um, although I'm more known for making groups, like I will make a Facebook group for anything. <laughs> I have one for um, people who are considering joining my team and my team members teams and just any paparazzi reps teams. Um, I have a group for how to do hostess parties with a whole template and all you do is copy and paste into a, par a hostess party. Um, do I have another group? And then, of course, all my normal groups. And I feel like there's another one that I have, but I can't think of it. So, um, but my upline, I am in a really good upline. My direct upline is, um, and that upline just means the person you signed up under. She is a um, uh, an elite rep with paparazzi. Uh, which means that she's above the producer level. I think she's executive producer now. Um, and then her upline is, uh, she is a Maven A-lister. And then her upline is something above that. I don't know, maybe Jet Setter. I don't know. Anyways, uh, so I have a lot of really great tools. And this is one that I got from Tara. Shout out to Tara, my upline, from her um, her files page. And now I have it in my team files page or my team files this is called keys to accept keys to success and it's really good because um, it just kind of gives you well let me just read you a little bit of it it says want to be successful this is it is it going to be really easy no <laughs> of course not this is work but gosh it is fun haha -ha. I love the way Tara talks <laughs> Follow the keys below. Reach out for help when you need it. Be consistent. That is probably the number one key right there. Um, within your business and you'll see those successes come. I would say be, be patient, be forgiving to yourself and be consistent. All right, so she says um, to be consistent, find out what works for you and what you have the most fun with. I was just telling someone this on my team. I was like, we gotta figure out what works for you? Oh, I forgot to show my bling. So I have these super cute earrings. Uh, this, actually, this is two necklaces. So here's one. Look at the bling on it. And then I have this one on as well. And this beautiful wrap bracelet. I'm so glad I kept this for myself. <laughs> um, bling rings. And then... I love these bracelets too because they've got some little flashes of bling on them. Everything we sell is $5. Everything is beautiful and gorgeous and it's all nickel, nickel and lead free. But most of you know that because you're a consultant. <laughs> um, all right, so back to this. So she says, be consistent, find what works for you and what you have the most fun with. Oh, no, actually back to what I was telling the, the rep on my team. I was telling her we have to figure out what she enjoys. Um, not everybody loves uh, selling at vendor events. Or not everybody loves going live on Facebook. Or not everybody loves doing private home parties. Or not everybody loves carrying around a bling bag. Um, you know, and on and on. It's really what do you love? And what are you good at? And then you maximize on that. For me... 
I have two bling bags and I am horrible at carrying them around, number one. But even when I do carry them around, I'm horrible at talking to anyone about what's in them. Just going to keep it real. <laughs> keep it real. Um, vendor events. I do, you know, I do well at vendor events, but it's just not really my thing. All the work and setting up and all that and tearing down and transporting it and then standing around and talking to people and all that. I mean, it's great and I don't mind doing it every now and then, but uh, I'm sorry, I'm picking my nail. What in the world? Um, I don't mind doing it every now and then, but that's just not my thing either. Um, Facebook Live. I am pretty good at Facebook Live and I enjoy it actually. Um, I still get a little nervous when I do it, but not much. Um, and so I think that is my thing. Also, like one-on-one -on -one consultations um, that I also enjoy. Like you should tell me what you need or show me what you need to match up with and let me be your jewelry stylist. That's my thing. Um, so, yeah, I won't keep going on and on with that. So anyways, that's what she's saying here. Um, work your business every day. <laughs> I don't know if I do this. I might. I might. Even holidays. No, I don't. Because <laughs> I did not do it over the holidays. It's just me. It's just me. I, I, I did a really awesome month in November. And then we launched our radio show in January. Um, we have a, I have an, I'm a producer, producer and co-host of a nationally syndicated radio show and we launched it in January. And I, so like December was pretty shot and January was pretty shot. <laughs> and so now I'm back at it. So yeah, for me, um, plus I just don't feel, I, I don't, I won't say I don't feel good about, but I just didn't really feel comfortable pushing product, pushing product, pushing product. Like, like I said, I did really well in November. And then I don't know, like, I just felt like, okay, people are spending money on Christmas and all that, which yeah, they should be spending it with me. But then after that, like January is more what I'm speaking of. I kind of just wanted to just let people chill from spending. I know that's ridiculous to say that and think that way as a salesperson, but I don't consider myself a salesperson. Sorry, I'm still picking my nail. I was trying to be slick about it by putting it down here, but then I'm steadily looking down doing it. Sorry. Okay. So yeah, that's just me. Like I just, I, I'm more of, um, you know, do things from my heart and I just think about people's situations and I wouldn't want to put someone in a hardship or any kind of stress, you know, and I didn't want to really be posting and nobody's responding. So I don't know. I just kind of took a little bit of a chill pill <laughs> during January, but February I'm back at it and I'm doing really well again. <laughs> so that's just me. Tara says to do it during the holidays and you should do what Tara says. <laughs> okay. Um, what else here? Uh, okay, so now this is the awesome part. She gives five minute tasks. So it says on those super busy days, do one or more of the following five minute tasks. So here we go. Um, one, uh, here's some examples. One, post in 15 yard sale sites for new customers. You can do that in five minutes. Yeah, I guess you can. Okay. 15 yard sale sites for new customers, booking parties, or new team members. Now, of course, in your files, in your team page files, at least in my team page files and in Tara's, I know, we have posts or files with the language you can use. You just copy it and put, paste it into your post. So if you want to do that, you can do that or you know, you can come up with your own post as well. Um, another thing about these yard sale sites, they they haven't worked all that great for me. That's another thing that's not really my thing. But what I have found is I'll pick like one, um, like I have one in particular that I try to add value to. So like I have a, it's a mom's one in my, in my town. 
and I'll put posts in there that have nothing to do with my jewelry or any of that. It's just valuable stuff for moms. And I that's really what I'm trying to do is um, be more relationship driven and how can I help you? And yeah, okay, if you love my jewelry and you wanna buy my jewelry, awesome, you know, I love that. Um, but that's not like all that I'm about. I'm not just about what can I get from you. I want to give. And so that is more my approach for the yard sale sites. Cause I feel like Facebook is already starting to get pretty full of paparazzi consultants, at least in my network. And, um, so I'm trying to do things that differentiate myself or set me apart from others. And the best way you can do that is by, uh, leading with you and who you are and what your values are and what you love or what's important to you and you know I'm a mom so that's a group I picked and you know I just posted a recipe in one of them it's uh, how to make eggs in a mug in a microwave mm -hmm. <laughs> you just put the eggs uh, like you're gonna do scrambled eggs I put in there other ingredients like uh, um, you could do chopped up onion or mushrooms or um, ham, cheese, whatever. Put it all in there, season it with some salt and pepper, a tiny drop, a little bit of milk, like a tablespoon of milk, and you scramble it all up in the mug. And you want like a wider mug if possible. Um, and then you stick it in the microwave for I forget how many minutes. I don't remember, but whatever, you can Google it, <laughs> put it in the microwave and it like souffles almost up or whatever, but it ends up turning into a cup of perfectly scrambled eggs. It's awesome. Sorry, it's late. <sighs> Sorry. It's like, um, after my bedtime is after 10 o'clock PM and I usually go to bed like 10 or earlier. Okay. So. Anyways, that's that's what I do. I try to add value into those sites, but Tara has been extremely successful. As a matter of fact, that's how she got me <laughs> by just posting in a yard sale site about her jewelry and yeah, looking for someone who loves jewelry. Imagine that. All right. Um, next, she says, Post an item or items of the day in your shopping group. I just did this last week. I went to my website. I grabbed, I did screenshots. You know how to do a screenshot, right? You push your home button and this side button at the same time, at least for an iPhone. I'm sure Android has something else. I don't know. Something amazing because they are pretty good at that kind of stuff. But anyways, I do screenshots of my new releases and then I just post those in my shopping group. Um, and excuse me, I put a little comment in there that says, um, if you, if you want it, comment, want it in the comments and I will add this to my order tonight and I give them a deadline. And then after that deadline is up, then I place the order and I invoice them once I get the item and I tell them they have to pay the invoice within 24 hours and um, the item will be shipped as soon as I receive it. I didn't, you know, I, it's like you don't have to have inventory on hand, you know? Um, and I just think that it's a really awesome way to, I don't know, just something different too. I think I sold about 20 pieces during doing that. Um, so yeah, make sure that you try that. She also says, do a quick flash sale of 20 items in your group. In one post, put 20 pictures. I'll do it. I'll call it like an album. You know, like I'll say a uh, new release. I'll name the album new releases and I'll post that as an album. Um, or you could do like all one color items or all necklaces, you know, in that album and kind of make it like a theme or even like if it's like Valentine's you know, or whatever. Yeah. So you could do that. Um, funky pieces, like make it fun. Um, you could also do the flash sale as a Facebook live. Um, oh, she's got that on here. I'm jumping ahead. All right. Never mind. Uh, she's got drop off business cards at some places while you run errands or hang up business cards on community boards, even if you're out of your local area. 
That's a good one. I don't do that, but I'm going to. <laughs> um, all right, she's got message 10 inactive. You know what would be fun to do with the business cards is maybe put like a sticker on one of them and put like, if you have this sticker, you win. I don't know how you could do that. Like put the sticker on there and then maybe just say you're a lucky winner, something like that. And anybody who gets one of the business cards that has a sticker on it, when they call you, if they tell you they have that sticker, then they win like a free ring or something. I think that would be fun. You know, or like one of your cutesy little hostess rewards that you have a million of the same bracelet. <laughs> Although it is very cute. Yeah, that's cute. Like that could be a cute little giveaway if somebody gets a business card off of the board that has the sticker on it or something. I don't know. Think about it. I think that could be fun and a good little contest, I guess. I don't know. All right. Oh, you could even do it with your VIP people and just let them know. Like if you get a business card with your order and it has this sticker on it, then let me know because that means you win a free piece of bling or whatever. I don't know. I'm just thinking as I'm doing this. Sorry. All right. Next, um, message uh 10 inactive members Ooh, this is good i've never tried this message 10 inactive members in your shopping group and ask them if they'd like to see the new pieces you've gotten in that's good or what i'll do is i'll um i have a private group it's a secret group um you know you can set the settings to secret and I can invite people in there and go one on one with them and either they can go live with me, you know, or they can just watch me live, but I can talk to them and they can type in the comments or whatever. And it's just, you know, myself and them. And um, yeah, I could show them my new releases and they've been inactive or whatever. So maybe get them back interested or active. That's a good one. Um, message 10 customers that recently bought from you and check in about their order. I always want to do this. And it's just with everything I have going on, I struggle with this. But like my natural self, that is what I would do is definitely follow up and say, hey, did you get your jewelry? Do you like it? You know, give me a selfie. I want to see, you know, post it in my VIP group. Like I would do all of that normally. But it's hard for me to get to that right now, but I think that is really a great suggestion. Um, then she says, ask them if they'd like to host a party. That's such a good idea. That's such a good idea, Tara. <laughs> okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that one. Next, post an interactive post in your shopping group. Um, definitely, I've done this. You could do little fun games like ugly jewelry contest or the pillow fight um kind of, you know just search on facebook for um paparazzi games and you'll find some <laughs> that is a really good one or even um like the ones where it's like the map and it's like let me know what state you're in or type in the comments people love doing gifts so you could say, give me a gift for, is it gift or gif? Gift, right? Yeah, gift. Uh, give me a gift for whatever state, you know, you're, you're in right now or whatever. So that's another one you could do. Um, and then here's the one I was trying to skip ahead. Do a 10 pieces um, in 10 minutes live sale. I'm going to start doing more of these because I was going live every week and I was doing two hours <laughs> every time I went live showing over a hundred pieces of jewelry every time. And that gets a, a bit much. I mean, I was selling like at least 50 to 60 pieces of jewelry, which is great every week. But, um, I don't know. It was just kind of, it's just, I just wanted to not do that anymore. So I still want to go live every week. I just don't want to show that much for me personally right now. So I think I'm going to start doing this. I'll still do my, I'll probably do like once a month, like a big two hour live. And then I'll do weekly these shorter 10 minute lives because I don't know, I felt like I was getting to be old hat. Like people were kind of like, Oh, it's her again. <laughs> it wasn't as special. So, um, I just want to limit my 
live jewelry selling a little bit more and I know Tara probably would not agree with me on that but that's just me um and then and that's the beauty of this business it's your business so you do what works for you um what else is I gonna say about that though um oh also I just feel like sometimes if you're showing just a little bit it leaves people wanting more versus if you're showing them the whole pegboard then um and I don't know. It's just people like what they can't have. So that is my thought on that. Um, all right, next. Keys to success continued. Party. Hosted parties with hostesses. Party often. Don't stop. Party, party, party. I guess Tara likes to party. <laughs> um, do live sales consistently. Same time, same day, which I do. I do that. Um, one to two times a week or every other week if that's what works for you. All right. Use your resources. Know who your upline is and their upline and their upline. <laughs> I'm in upline groups on Facebook for my upline, her upline, her upline. And then I skip up to like another one that has like a, a has thousands of people in it. And I love that group. Um, so, um, yeah, read the files in their groups. Didn't I tell you? <laughs> um, ask questions. Use your team pages. Ask for help. Attend the Facebook trainings. And if you can, the in-person trainings. And don't give up. Also, um, here's another thing. You know, we're big on um, tagging. You know, like if Tara posts something, she'll tag me and her people that signed up directly under her and then we tag the people that signed up directly under us and then they tag the people who signed up under them and that's all fine and dandy and great um but I don't know I really try to get my team to follow the team pages themselves and to you know be watching for what's what's posted um because I don't want it to be my responsibility to put everything in their lap. Like if this is a business that you take seriously and this is your business, you should be out seeking information to make your business more successful. So that is me. I know that is not most. Um, so I don't do a whole lot of the tagging anymore. I used to, but it gets to be a little overwhelming and not everybody wants to be tagged in all of that stuff. And it is a lot to try to remember who does and who doesn't. And I just don't want to turn people away. It's just not my approach for my team. Um, so, again, I will um, remind people about staying, you know, keep an eye, eye out on those groups. And I'll also do, like, screenshots if I see Tara does some post that I think is amazing, I'll do a screenshot and post it in my team page and say, hey, go check out this post. It's on Tara's page. Or I will, um, like this, 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 this file, I took hers and I copied it and everything and put it into my files. And anybody on my team can do the same thing and put it in their files. Like we benefit from our team members being successful. So we don't mind when they copy us. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I do share her information, uh, but I just do it a little bit differently. Um, let's see what else does she say here? Show your pieces to as many new people as possible. Old pieces will sell to new customers because they are new to them. That's true. Um, keep inventory coming in, reinvest correctly. That's good. Replace what you sell. And if building your inventory is a goal, replace what you sell plus a half. Um, I have a hard time with this. I don't like having all this jewelry. Like I like to sell, buy it, sell it, buy more, sell it. Like I like to keep it, keep my board pretty empty. And because I didn't, you know, I, what I already told you in the beginning of this video, um, my board's kind of full. So I don't like having a lot of inventory, but that's just me. Um, but I definitely do, even having a full board, I do still look at the new releases almost daily and just see if there's something I just have to have. <laughs> um, 
All right, next, expect highs and lows. Yes, write them like a pro. Yes, do not get too caught up. It's not a race. It's a marathon and it should be fun. And why are you doing this? Are you just about what you can get or are you doing it to give as well? And if you're doing it to give, then stop focusing on, you know, the sale and stop focusing on signing up a new team member and instead focus on helping someone look great or focus on um, helping someone know that there is you know, this other stream of revenue they can do. And if that's where your heart is coming from, people pick up on that and they want to be a part of it. Um, so that's my approach at least. And it's, it works. Uh, look for support in those low times. Yes. Come to your upline. Come to me. If you're on my team, um, go to your upline, go to a papa, sister, go or brother, go to someone and just talk it out. Cause I know it helps. I know it helps. I've had a couple talks and, uh, I just had a talk with someone and she told me it helped. So yeah. Um, seek new customers, hand out business cards, talk about your business, talk about the opportunity to sell alongside you with everyone. I, that's not, that's not my approach, but I'm sure it works for some people just not me. And if it doesn't work for you, then don't force it. <laughs> uh, listen to other successful people. I agree with that. And that's why I say, I mean, Tara is highly successful. So if that, what she says there, try it. And if it works for you, amazing, awesome, yay, let's do some backflips, woohoo! But if it doesn't work for you, don't stress about it. Just don't do it and do something else. There's plenty other things on this list that you can do. <laughs> um, take on challenges. There's lots of challenges, at least on our team, our up, my uplines. They do boot camps and challenges and giveaways and all of that. So get involved in that stuff because it will only help you grow your business. Um, get out of your comfort zone. If you're scared to go live, force yourself to at least try it. It will, once you, if you get out of your fear and insecurities, um, and you just have confidence, which is our best accessory, then, um, I mean, everybody, people want to see you succeed. They're not sitting there like, oh, I hope you fail. If you're live and something goes wrong, they feel bad just like you do. But if you laugh about it, they'll laugh too. And then keep it moving. It's really not a big deal. We're not brain surgeons. You know, we're not up in somebody's brain. <laughs> we're selling jewelry. Okay. All right. Um, that's it. So this is from the files of Tanya's Bling Team. Thanks to Tara. And it's called Keys to Success. I hope that was helpful. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you thought. If you have any other keys to success, put them in the comments. That would be awesome. And um, if you have any other videos you would like to see, let me know. All right. I think that's it. My website is tanyasbling.com. If you want to join my team, go there, click join my team. I would love to have you. I just had someone join my team today from YouTube. Hi, Taisha. Shout out to you. Yay. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Until next time, bling on.